Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Deathbot from 32 Academy. Let's read the question together. So the question asks us to find the number of ways that one can put numbers 1 or 2 in each cell of an 8 by 8 chessboard. So the condition is that the sum of numbers in each column as well as the sum of numbers in each row is an odd number. Okay. So how will we do this? Let's try this type of combinatorial question together. So let's say this is my 8 by 8 chessboard. Okay. Let's focus on the 7 by 7 chessboard. Okay. Let's say this is 7 by 7 chessboard. I can say that this 7 by 7 chessboard, if I do not have any condition on it, okay, I can just put any any cell. I can put either one or two. Okay, so how many cases do I have here? Because any cell, I can have the condition. Uh, any cell, I can only have two choices, right? One or two. So any cell have two choices, and you would have 49 cells in total. Okay. Remember, I only talk about the seven by seven. So in that case, I would have two to the power of 49 okay, possible cases. No condition at all. I can just put either one or two. And then think about that. Okay. If let's say focus on this column, the last column. Okay. If I can put any number one or two in each cell, that means that the sum so far, okay, the sum of this column, which is the seven by one so far, is half of the time is odd, half of the time is even. Right, and when it is odd, if it is odd, okay, all I need to do is that this number, okay, this cell, if it's already odd, remember at the end we want the sum in the column to be odd, right? All I need to do is just I need to put two, the last cell, okay, the last cell, just need to put two. If the sum in the seven by one column is Happen to be an even number. I put one. Okay, so now the sum of the eight by one column is always an odd number. So I do not have ten, technically I do not have choices for the last cell. If it was already an odd number, then I put two. If it was already an even number, then I put one. Okay, I do not have choice for that. Of course, if that cell the same, this cell similar argument. Okay similar reasoning the same thing for all of this so every cell in this 7 by 1 same reasoning okay same argument I do not have choices I just need to if it's already an odd I just put two if it's already even I put one so I do not have choice now focus on this Okay, let me redraw the same chessboard. Okay, let's focus on this 7 by 1. Okay, and this is 1 by 7 so far because I do not have choice. Okay, and it's half of the time this will be the sum of this column is half of the time is odd, half of the time is even. Okay, same thing for here the sum of this row. I'm talking just the seven cell first, okay? I'm not talking about this cell yet. Just the sum of the one by seven row, that one. It's half of the time is odd, half of the time is even. Okay, so when both, if this both odd, okay? Odd, even, even, odd, even, even okay so this is the sum of the seven by one this is the sum of the one by seven let's say okay if it is odd and odd okay that means that this cell 
this cell, let's call it cell. Well, let's call it cell X. Okay, cell X. I just need to put number two, right? To maintain that the sum in each row is an odd number, the sum in each column is an odd number. If it is both even, the last case, I put number one. Okay. Notice that if one is odd, one is even. Either one or two will not work, correct? Because I do not have the sum in the first row and the sorry the last row in the first column. It cannot be both odd at the same time, correct? So in this case, if in this case, all right, if it's an odd and the one by seven is an even, if I put one, yeah, the last row is now an odd number, but it makes my first column not odd anymore. Okay, so I do not have a number to satisfy this, so this is not possible. Possible. Okay, same thing here, if it's odd even, not possible. Okay, there will be no value to put in that cell. So, again, you notice this obviously is uniform, so it's half of the time as well. Okay, two out of four cases. So, that means that, hence, the number of arrangement will be, remember, 2 to the power 49 to put the 7 by 7 square. And then the 7 by 1 and the 1 by 7 have no choice but just to satisfy. And then half of this time, possible to put cell x, half of the time I cannot have any value for x. So I still need to divide by 2. So the final answer is 2 to the power of 48. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.